pull a little project into there. And I'm going to open up Docker Compose. So now that we have a new, we're going to put this out on our live server, we're going to change the host. And to do that, well, let's first do this. Let's change it so um, the, the domain on this box is uh, test.heymp.com. So I want to set up app.heymp or app.app.test.amp.com. I'm going to leave everything else the same. And I'm going to start it up. So let's go to app.test.amp.com. And there's our server. This will also, so again, this, if I go to test.amp.com, 8080, I can see I can see that UI and I can see what has been spun up um, and what hasn't. Um, so yeah, so that's Traffic. It's cool. Um, just playing with it. Don't know a whole lot about it, but um, it was recommended to me that I start looking at it. Um, another thing of note, it's a sort of like bonus, is what if so as this transitions to different environments, that domain's obviously going to change. So this is just sort of like a Docker thing. Um, so I think there's two solutions for this. Um, we can set it up where we have actually two different Docker Compose files. So one for production, one for development, and one on the development um, configuration. We could point to local hosts, and on here we can point to the actual domain, um, or um, and this is something that is also recommended to me. We could do some, um, put some dynamic variables in this. So I think if you do dollar sign brackets and um, variable here, why can't I open this for right? Try this again. So dollar sign brackets. And we'll put domain. And this domain, uh, I keep putting that out. Sorry. Oh, that's why. Docker compose. There we go. So this domain um, is a would be an environment variable. So you define this in your .env file. So let's do that. So let's open up .env. So right now we have port. Um, let's add domain equals, and we'll put hey or test.heymp.com. Let's see if that works. <laughs> Did not work. I wonder if my uh, my MP file needs to be quotes. So that's not working. Let me see why that would be the case. Test 
So here's an, uh, another project that we're working on that is Dockerized. I'm going to Docker Compose. And so here we have tag. Aha, okay, yeah. Um, so it, it's possible that it is working. I just messed up. So I have the domain, but I don't have the prefix. So if I did app.domain compose down, docker compose. Okay, there we go. So um, I do like that method. So again, it's just an. Oh. Okay. So again, um, in your .env file in your project, uh, you can specify some environment variables. So if you specify your domain there then you'd just be able to set that depending on whether you're on localhost or, or whether you're uh, in a development environment um, or if you're deploying to production. So um, I thought that that was pretty cool, so I wanted to, to show that as well. Um, cool, so hopefully that was helpful.